I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane Cellcaps killing everything that moves. All my companions are dead. The Cellcaps swarmed over us. There were dozens of them. And they, they looked wrong somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something. Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy cell caps. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hracker Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's got to be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner. I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together, but I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want, down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. Come on, what's taking you so long? We have sides. It's a lot... What's taking you? Come on, hurry up. Don't just stand there. We have to keep moving. The water is filled with... Get out! <laughs>
Come in here. You'll let the Varaxa and the Cellcath in. No, stay out. Stay out. I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them. Kill them now. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. The Faraxa will get us. No, the Silkath are coming. No! 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 Ah! I... I'm sorry for what I did. I don't know what came over me. I, I... I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the cell cat went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The frags and sharks just tore them apart. It was it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our cell cat researchers started screaming and, and 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 clawing at everything around them. My team, my team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me, I. I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the cell cath outside the doors every once in a while. Strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. Look, I'm sorry. I have just been under a lot of strain recently. You know, the whole thing about having my entire research team devoured before my eyes. Kono, Kono, calm down. Don't talk to him like that. We've gone through a lot, and we said we were sorry for the mistake we made. Just, I'm sorry for my actions, but, but what are you doing here? Well, we're not too clear ourselves just exactly what happened. The work teams were outside in the rift, near the vent. Then there was this rumbling, and my head felt like it was splitting open. This... this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Firaxa shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then all the Silkaths started screaming too. And they turned on us. It was like they couldn't control themselves. Like the sound that the monster was making in our heads drove them insane. Well, maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kolto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things, too.
Like, why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Colto. It would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. With Colto as a food source. And all those other Firaxan sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. The Firaxan sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. The repellent we made was supposed to drive Firax and Sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the Colto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. You don't need to do anything else. We have a canister of the toxin here right now. We were working on it before the giant Firaxon drove all the Cellcath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Colto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Firaxon shark. Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel, so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydroleum gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin, and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But... but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work! It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. Good. Destroying the machinery will be better in the long run. We can't risk damaging the environment or the Colto. You'll have to break into the computer on the harvesting machine and fiddle with the fuel injectors to get the tank pressure up to the point where the hydroleum will liquidize. Once the machinery is gone, the shark should leave. That won't work and you know it. We have to vent the toxin from the harvesting machine. Once the shark is dead, we can get back to mining the Colto. You know what you have to do. I just hope you make the right choice. Thank you. 
someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure, you may have defeated the pathetic thousands my master sent after you. But you are no match for me. I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself. Your words mean nothing to me, unless you wish to beg for your life. No, then I shall try to make this both quick and painful. fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? Something was down there? Living in the rift by the Colto? It's horrible. The entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? What has happened to the facility? Was it damaged? No, that is terrible. That will set our work back years. It may even cost us the war. While I am glad that you were able to solve our problems, the cost may have ended up being much too high. But you have done your job and helped us in our time of need. And for that I thank you. Oh, and did you end up finding your star map? As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. Perhaps we can work together again in the future. <laughs> Greetings once again. I tr Should the Selkath obtain proof of what a truth be told, I'm uncomfortable even with us being...
I don't know much about the facts of the case, but the so-called evidence against him is an obvious frame. Who else? Sunri's conviction will be... If you want to solve this mess, I would... I regret I could not be a... You mean you sliced into our... That is a very serious crime. But I may just be willing... And that is all I will ever tell. A beautiful place, Sato. Oh, I... The... Greetings once again. Should this truth be told? The... should treat us Sith, but the Selkath have forgot. Why can't the Selkath see what... Yeah, what do you want? You Statement. Requ State. Now close the lights up. Got something on your mind. 
Did I say that? Strange the trick's memory plays on you when you get older. Didn't I say that my past was my affair? You don't see me poking and prodding you with questions, do you? I'm not here to satisfy your curiosity. No staring at the old man, that's what the sign says, damn it. And besides, you don't really want to hear about me. We're talking ancient history, probably before you were born. History bores kids. Proven fact. Oh, fine, fine. Have it your way. Just don't cry about it later. Yes, yes, I was an adventurer. Happy now? I wasn't even done with my Jedi training back then. I had a full head of hair and an eagerness to see absolutely everything. Sound familiar? The Council was never happy with a willful, brash Jolie Bindo, you see. Even less so when I began my smuggling career. Don't look at me like that, dammit. I wasn't always the wrinkled coot I am now, you know. I could still fight, too. So wipe off that smirk I see there. At the time, the Yukata system was interdicted by its own king. He preferred to keep his people starving and poor. All the better to oppress them. The Senate was trying to negotiate a peace. But they were getting nowhere as usual. I decided I wasn't going to wait. I found myself a ship and a partner, and we began smuggling food and supplies to the Yukata citizenry through the blockade. Oh, it was. I was a half-decent pilot in those days, and with the force guiding me, we made it through some tough spots nobody else would have. Pilot, smuggler, several other things, too. Or did you suppose I was always a crotchety hermit? Well, we didn't buy all the equipment, per se. Some were happy to donate goods. Some we just, uh, knew had more than they could use. Stole is such a harsh word. They would have donated those goods readily enough if they were compassionate. I considered it a tax on the greedy. We only got caught once. A lone Yukonish frigate shot us down and forced a crash landing. I thought the force had abandoned me, as I remember. Well, as it happens, getting shot down turned out to be very fortunate. That day was the day I... Well, that, that was the day I met my wife. You know another way to get a wife? But yes, that's when I met her. I... If it's all the same to you, I'd prefer to stop talking now. My mouth is starting to draw flies. Got something on... was left to support me alone. A single, non-human woman, living in one of the worst, most violent slums on Terrace. It was not easy for her. When my father was killed, it seemed that something in her began to die as well. She worked. She worked as hard as she was able. But over time, she began to waste away. I later learned that she was unable to get enough money to feed both of us and had to start borrowing from the exchange. A band of cutthroats and smugglers. But even that was not enough. She hid what she was doing from me. She gave most of her food to me so that I would be strong, but she herself was suffering deeply from it. In the end, she could go on no longer, and collapsed at the cantina where she worked one day. She never recovered. There was nothing really that I could do for her. She left me no money, and no doctor would see her without being paid first. I sat by her bed for days as she lay there dying. I never want that to happen to someone I care about ever again. But there was still the money she had borrowed. She had never paid it back and made no provisions for her death. You must understand. The exchange is brutal. 
They care nothing for the life of a sentient being. They are the major suppliers of slaves on Taras. They thought it would be appropriate that, with my mother owing them money, the debt should be passed on to me. And with no way to pay, they took me by force. You have no idea what this is like to be bound like a beast and treated as such. It was the worst time of my life. They treated me like livestock. They were waiting for a buyer to give them some credit for me when the Jedi came to fight the Mandalorians. The Jedi could not abide by what they saw there and drove the exchange from the face of the world, freeing those of us imprisoned there. But the Jedi soon left to fight their war, and I was left with a dream. I swore that I would become a Jedi. As soon as I had enough money to do it, I bought passage on a freighter headed for Dantooine, and we both know what has happened since then. I am grateful to you for having given me the opportunity to fulfill my dream, rather than become what I hated. Someday, I may make it up to you. But for now, let us keep on the task at hand. How may I be... What... How can I help? What do you need? Talk about what? The I'll understand. I've been thinking about Lena. No, of course not. But maybe, maybe he did want to, but things don't usually work out for great. He might have been trying to skip out on his debts. Yeah, well, no, not exactly. Look, all I'm trying to say is that the more I think back, the more I realize I might be idolizing my brother a bit, not seeing all his faults. I still want to find him. I need to see him again. It's just that I'm not sure how I'll react when I do. Maybe. We'll see. I don't... I don't want to judge him yet. Maybe Lena was lying. Or maybe... Maybe she... wasn't. All I know is, I'd like to speak to Griff myself. If we have time, I'd like to go talk to the Zerka Corp rep on tattooing and see what he has to say about where my brother is now. Hey there, what can I do for you? All I know is, I'd like to speak to Griff myself. If we have time, I'd like to go talk to the Zerka Corp rep on tattooing and see what he has to say about where my brother is now.